hello and welcome to the channel so i had the pleasure of going to the um thursday night showing of venom um three the last dance and man the critics can hate this movie all they want just like they hated the uh, first movie second movie it doesn't matter I, I don't care nobody cares what the critics think of these kind of movies um for me personally i enjoyed the first movie i enjoyed the second movie the second movie was okay um and this one i enjoyed the third movie even though you know how it ends and everything like that i'm, I'm not really going to be spoiling anything for you i'm going to leave it so you can enjoy it you know yourself because if you enjoyed the first three films um, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. There's humor, there's action. Um, the story, you know, who really cares about the story, right? We could just go ahead and just check that out. But I was laughing at the jokes in the movie. Just everything about this movie, just to me personally, you know, my bar wasn't that high for this movie. And my expectation wasn't really like very high end, you know, like top of the line Marvel where they throw a bunch of money at it. No. <clears throat> my bar was very mid, I want to say, or lower. But overall, like, I enjoyed this movie very, very much. I enjoyed the, the duo Venom and Eddie Brock. Um, and hopefully they make another one. <laughs> <laughs> even though this is supposed to be the conclusion of the movies but overall like like i said i don't know i feel like a broken record but i enjoyed it and i might watch it again because i did get my movie pass back so i will probably watch it on a couple more times just like i did with um wolverine and uh and uh, and deadpool i watched that movie like at least three times uh, so I'm definitely going to rewatch Venom, The Last Dance. I will watch it again. I will. But critics hate it. But hey, it doesn't matter what the fuck the critics think, right? Fuck them. We don't really give a shit what the critics think. If they hate it, the fans love it. Right now, it's sitting at a 79%, which is pretty damn good for, you know, for the fans. The fans like it. Some critics like it. Um, but who gives a shit what the what some of these top critics have to say well, well let's see what this one says it's a top cri critic gave it a, a fresh tomato through the concept itself is it running out of gas it would be nice to free up hardy to do other things it's a fitting send-off of the cheeky alien with the thousand wit grin <laughs> expect less and never be disappointed facts you right I expected last, and I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the movie. Um, anyway, this is the weakest of the three, mostly because it has too many action set pieces and not as much alone time for our fan favorite dysfunctional couple. Uh, I want to say it's the opposite. There's plenty of action in the movie, um, but you still get that buddy comedy. You know, Venom will be telling jokes and doing other things. And, you know, they have, it's just such a great pair for the two um, people, <laughs> beings, I don't know. <laughs> uh, your enjoyment of the film may depend on how much you ship Sim Brock and how much they can carry through. Top Critic, in a franchise full of Spider-Man wannabes, the one most associated with Spidey ended up being the most successful because it was about a true connection rather than tenuous connections between multiverse, multi, multiversal IP, which makes sense. I mean, they didn't really do anything with the connection that they made from the other movie where everybody got um, dragged into different universes. Um, they just kind of like the movie picked up from right there where it left off and then it just kind of like took off. From there, it's just nonstop. I was not bored at all. I enjoyed my time there in the movies. And you will too, especially, like I said, if you enjoyed the first film. Um, you will enjoy this one too. Just don't set your expectations too high because <laughs> you will be extremely disappointed if you're looking for like award-winning, you know, kind of writing or something 
in that caliber, you will be highly, highly disappointed. Um, but if you just go there with a low expectation or if you enjoyed the first two movies, then you will enjoy the fuck out of this movie. And I'm saying this now. Everybody knows it, but I think that this one is probably better than the Joker <laughs> movie. Um, the Joker 2, I still haven't seen it. I've seen the first one. I've heard so many negative things about the second one. Maybe I'll go see it, but I don't know if I want to waste, you know, like two hours of my time to go watch that movie. A lot of people did not like it. Um, it's not made for fans. It didn't really like just from the moment that they said it was going to be like a um, like a musical. I was already out because I'm not really a huge fan of musicals. And that was the main reason why it, that movie just kind of turned me off. But this one will definitely make its money back and some. I mean, just looking at the box office, it's already at $94.8 million, um, And it had a $120 million budget. And you got to count, you know, advertising. I don't know, maybe another $30 million or so. So the movie at least has to make, I don't know, $200 million to make some money. And I do believe that this movie will break that uh, compared to <laughs> the best movie ever made, The Joker. Um, let there be carnage. Let's see which one. How much is that movie made? See, look at that. $506 million. Now, So this one is easily going to do, you know, 300, 500,000, at least globally. Um, in the States, it's still going to make money, but this most of the audiences that watch this are going to be from um, overseas. So that's where this movie is really going to shine, where it's really going to make its money. Let me see. What was the first movie? How much did that one made? Shit. They almost made a billion dollars. Almost made a billion dollars. So for what it was, honestly, like I said, I really enjoyed it um, for what it is, and you will too. Um, just go there with an open mind. If you haven't seen the other two, definitely recommend you see those two first. Um, then go watch this one so you can kind of get the feel. If you enjoyed the first two, then you, you'll have an amazing time and you'll be laughing. <laughs> and you will definitely fall in love with these characters. And I hope that they make more, even though this is supposed to be like the uh, the end. But we'll see what happens, especially if it makes money. Anytime these movies make money, obviously Hollywood wants to throw more money at it. But we will see. Ah, oh, yes, IGN. <laughs> Bad! And let's see what they gave. I think they gave um, Joker... Um, the Joker movie, like a seven, a seven out of uh, ten. Uh, Venom gets a four. <laughs> Never mind, I lied. They gave it a five. So it's crazy that Venom gets rated less <laughs> than Joker, even though, um, to me, honestly, um, Venom Two is a better movie than the Joker Two. But anyway, you guys let me know in the comments below, will you be watching um, Venom, The Last Dance? I definitely recommend it if you've seen the other ones. Definitely, definitely. I give it a... I would give it a... If For you to go watch it, 10 out of 10. Go watch it. Go watch the fucking movie, okay? You will enjoy it. You will have a good time. All right? As always, make sure to like, subscribe.